Hey Browns fans, Nathan Zagura here with a look at the Browns linebacking core. It's our linebacker position review edition of the two minute drill brought to you by University Hospitals. Now headed into 2021, Coach Jason Tarver's room was a little bit of a question mark. People didn't know what the Browns were going to do at linebacker. Well, I would say it really is a question mark no more. This room turned in a great season as part of an electric Joe Woods defense. And it started with the guys in the middle, the second level, and Anthony Walker Jr. Walker signed a one year deal with the Browns in 2021. He had come over after being a part of those great Indianapolis Colts defenses and he picked up right where he left off. Not only a great leader off the field and on the field for that matter, but a great performer. Walker led the Browns with 113 tackles in 13 games and he led all linebackers with 701 snaps in that Mike linebacker role where he called the plays for this defense for the majority of the season. He's averaging nearly 109 tackles per year over the last four. He also added two passes defense, two tackles for loss, and one sack. And how about this? One of the questions about Walker coming to the Browns was, could he hold up in coverage? Well, Walker was the number three coverage linebacker in the entire NFL, according to Pro Football Focus last year, so he definitely made great strides in that area. Now, Walker is an unrestricted free agent headed into 2022, and I think there's probably mutual interest on both sides to get him back into the mix here with the Cleveland Browns because playing next to Walker is somebody who no doubt will be a Cleveland Brown in 2022 and has future star written all over him if he's not well on his way to becoming one right now and that is Jeremiah Owusu Koromoa the Browns second round pick out of Notre Dame in the 2021 draft many thought at the time it was the steal of the draft well everybody's saying that now Owusu Koromoa had a tremendous rookie season, 76 tackles, four passes defense, two forced fumbles, one and a half sacks, three tackles for losses in 597 snaps, played second most at linebacker for the Browns this year. He made numerous all-rookie teams. He was the fifth highest graded rookie defender in the entire NFL, according to Pro Football Focus, and he was the Browns' third highest graded defender at Pro Football Focus among starters behind only Miles Garrett and Denzel Ward. He's got the speed, he's got the instincts, he has the playmaking ability, and I think JOK will become a household name, not just in Cleveland, but throughout the NFL in 2022. Rounding out the Browns linebacker room in terms of the guys who played core snaps, you had Sione Takitaki, who was the Browns starting Sam linebacker, which means he played in the base defense with three linebackers on the field, close to the line of scrimmage, a lot of physicality, a tremendous run defender, and also a core special teams player. Taki appeared in 15 games last year, making 44 tackles on defense. He had a career high five tackles for loss, one forced fumble, and one fumble recovery. He is in the last year of his rookie contract, a former third round pick of the Browns back in 2019. Also in that draft class, the Browns selected Mac Wilson out of Alabama in the fifth round. Wilson, not only a linebacker who played sporadically in 2021, getting some work at the Will linebacker position as well as at the Sam, but became a core special teams member as well for the Browns and special teams coordinator Mike Prefer. Like Taki Taki, Wilson is entering the final year of his rookie contract. He played 193 snaps and recorded 42 tackles in 2021. And then there's the veteran, the 10-year vet, the former Super Bowl MVP Malcolm Smith, who was with the Browns in 2020 and reprised that role in 2021, playing primarily in sub-package defenses like the nickel, the dime, as a coverage linebacker. He ended up the season playing 425 snaps, third most at linebacker, racking up 51 tackles. But as I mentioned, it's his work in coverage that separates him. He had five five passes defense and two interceptions, both most among the Browns linebackers last season, and his interceptions were tied for the third most on the team. And then there's Jacob Phillips, and this is a name to write down, folks. I thought 2021 would be his breakout season. Perhaps it will come in 2022. He was the Browns' third round pick out of LSU back in 2020, where he led the SEC in tackles. But he's been slowed by injuries in his first two seasons. Played in nine games in his rookie year, only four last year after an elbow injury sidelined him for the majority of the year. But he came back at the end of the season, and boy, he made an impact. And the fact is, whenever Phillips plays, he flashes. In four games this year for the Browns, Phillips played 123 snaps, racking up 17 tackles, one sack, two tackles for loss, and three passes defense. In fact, in his only start of the season, week 18 against the Bengals, he had eight tackles, one sack, and one pass breakup. This is a guy who has speed, he has length, he just knows he has a great feel for the game and is a very sure tackler. 
he could become the Browns' Mike linebacker of the future. I know he's been here busting his butt every day at the Cross Country Mortgage Campus to get his body where he wants it, headed into this big season, but he's a guy to keep an eye on. I think he could become a star in this defense next to JOK. And then the Browns have a couple of key reserves of note. Elijah Lee, a six-year veteran who is really one of the elite special teams players in the league and part of that core for Mike Prefer. He is a free agent, unrestricted free agent, going into 2022, but he's a guy who gives you special teams work, even played over 70 snaps at linebacker for the Browns this season. And joining him kind of in that key reserve category was Tony Fields, the Browns' fifth-round pick out of West Virginia in the 2021 draft. Didn't play any snaps on defense, but appeared in 10 games on special teams and looks like he can become a future core member of that unit as well. And then the Browns have two players on reserve futures deals. They've got linebacker Willie Harvey, who has spent time on and off with this organization since 2019. Harvey appeared in two games for the Browns in 2021, playing exclusively on special teams. And then there's Montrell Meander who has been a part of the Browns organization since 2019. He's been a practice squad guy for really the last three years, active for two games in 2020, but he missed the entire 2021 season due to injury. And he's a former safety, so he's got that natural coverage ability in the linebacker room and special teams abilities as well. So that's a look at the Browns linebacker room. The big questions, you're talking about three unrestricted free agents who played big roles for you last year. Anthony Walker Jr. leading the team in tackles and snaps at that position was your Mike linebacker. Malcolm Smith, the venerable veteran who excels in coverage and in those sub package situations. And then of course, Elijah Lee, that core special teams player. So 2022 is gonna see what does this room look like, the evolution, and really I think just the explosion of Jeremiah Wusu koromoa and then is Jacob Phillips ready? to take a big leap for the Browns and this defense. For all of the position reviews, check out our YouTube channel, youtube.com slash Browns, and of course, the Browns mobile app. This has been the Linebacker Position Review edition of the Two Minute Drill, brought to you by University Hospitals.